Hi Leo, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you, you are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time, if this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, Leo, you know the drill. Take what resonates, discard the rest. Don't try to force it to fit. It will confuse you. Feel free to click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline. Or you can always book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in the description box. I have also revamped an old channel of mine. It is now called Diary of a Spiritual CEO. Over there, I do new love readings and health and money and spirituality and anything else that comes out that is for your highest good, okay? It's also an eclectic channel, so I show things like um, teas that I'm drinking, things to help you live 5D. Uh, teas, food, exercises, whatever I'm doing at that time that spirit has guided me to share with you. Okay, so feel free to come on over. Like, share, subscribe. Okay, just to mix it up. But I do do tarot over there as well. Anyways, feel free to check out the description box. There's a few things there for you. Feel free to come on over to the woke community on the Patreon platform. Now, that community is not for everyone. It's for who it's for, though, okay? You'll know if it's for you or not when you get over there. All righty. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. That's for your highest good, Leo. All right, Spirit, let go. What would you like Leo to know that's for their highest good at this point in time in their timeline? Who is this reading for, Spirit? Hmm. Someone could have got caught, and because of that, they are insecure about something. Or someone could be insecure uh, about something that's on their conscience. Spirit, please clarify Seven of Swords in reverse. What's Seven of Swords? But we will we will dive deeper, of course. Hmm. Or someone is worried about getting caught, right? Hmm. Spirit, please clarify Nine of Coins in reverse. What's Nine of Coins? Spirit, please clarify Knight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Okay, Leo, so I could be saying this is you and it's the energy you're dealing with or vice versa. Put it where it goes. Spirit, clear the energy of the previous reading from this deck. Please clarify Seven of Swords in reverse. What's Seven of Swords? What's nine of swords? Got a few swords here. Please clarify four of coins. Whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> Please clarify four of coins in reverse. Please clarify temperance. Someone is not fighting with someone anymore, or it's uh, it's on their conscience and they don't want to fight anymore. But someone is worried, like losing sleep over someone not seeing something, or I just want to see what this is. But please clarify. I'm looking up. Someone is worried about someone not looking something up or not seeing something. What's looking up in reverse? But like they're losing sleep over this. Oh, intuitively. I don't know, Leo. It's like someone is worried about... So intuitively, somebody is... They know that they need to leave someone alone or stop trying to look them up and find stuff on them. And somebody else is worried about that. It's like someone wants you to fight with someone or be at odds with someone. But intuitively, you're like, no, what, what am I doing that for? Can I get one on Unbothered? 
Now, either you or someone has let something go and they are not bothered about Yeah, someone wants to do the right thing, right? They don't want to keep coming for someone or trying to find dirt on them or... Mm -hmm. And somebody seems to be worried about this. For some of you, Leo, you could have someone around you who wants you to be upset with somebody, someone else. Now, this could be a group of friends who are like, oh, well, we don't talk to them, so you shouldn't talk to them either. And your stance is like, well, they never did anything to me, <laughs> right? So like, what grade are we in here? You know, or if this is a relationship, someone could be like, I don't want you talking to that person. I don't want you to make up with that person. And your energy is like, why not? Like, what? why is it? Why are you so pressed about this? Why is it bothering you so much if I make, um, I'm hearing reconcile or I, I make good with someone? It could have taken a while for you to move on from something. Spirit, can I get one on? Move on. Yeah, move on from someone not reciprocating, not showing love, not being charitable. It could have taken you a while or someone a while to move on from that. So your energy is like, well, why Why do you want me to be in this energy still? Like it took, it took such a long time for us to be good with each other or for me to be good with someone. Why do you still want me to be mad? Some, you, the reason why, Leo, is because someone is very insecure about you making up with someone or being good with someone. Let's say you um, were at odds with an ex, right? Then, now, this is an ex where there's a reason for them to be in your life. Like you have a child or children with them and you're with someone new. They could be upset at the fact that you are good with this person again. Or if you used to talk to someone, there was a group of people and you used to talk to someone and then there was a falling out and now you're good with this person again and the rest of your friends are like, why are you talking to them, right? It's because they're, they're insecure about something here because someone wants you to keep fighting with someone and you're like, no. But I feel like whoever this is deciding to not fight anymore, something is bothering them about how something went down, right? Spirit, please clarify. Woo! I keep hearing unfair treatment, unfair treatment. Spirit, please clarify nine of coins in reverse. What's nine of coins? Someone is very insecure about this, though. They're insecure about you healing, right? Healing in some way. Leo, for some of you, if this is you moving on and not fighting with someone anymore, this has them insecure, right? So put whatever storyline resonates with you. Like someone could be looking at looking at the situation like you don't even feel like they're worth fighting with anymore, right? Spirit, please clarify nine of coins in reverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Leo, if you have dropped some kind of bad habit, toxic trait, right? If you were with a group of people or with someone in particular that you would do drugs with or do had some shared some kind of addiction with and you're not doing it anymore, so you don't hang around these people or this person anymore, this has gotten them very insecure, right? They want you to be in that energy so that they can keep playing, okay? You guys can keep doing whatever you're doing. But this, this energy is like... You know what I don't like about this energy? It's like when someone's seeing you try to level up and do better for yourself, they don't like that, right? So let's say you stop drinking and you used to have a drinking buddy. Now that you're not drinking anymore, they're upset about it. They're upset about it or they're feeling insecure. So they want to bring you to the bar or buy bottles and stuff to get you to keep, you know, you're my drinking, but it's like, if you want to do better for yourself, they should respect that, you know? Because there's some kind of toxic trait or addiction or something that you were doing that was not healthy for you. It wasn't good for you. It wasn't bettering your life in any way. That someone is really insecure about you stopping. Right? And you healing from it. Spirit, please clarify Theo Swords in reverse. Yeah. And for some of you, I am not going to lie. Someone does not like the fact that you have healed from something here. Um, it could have been a heartbreak and you moved on. If you were going back and forth with someone for the longest time and you decide to make peace with them, there is somebody else in your energy who does not like that, right? They wanted you to be fighting with someone. They wanted you to be at odds with someone. It made them feel good. Spirit, can I get one on um, three of swords in reverse? Yes. Okay. Some of you could have healed something with a, uh, what is a water sign? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person feels like you still have feelings for someone here. That's why they wanted you to keep fighting with them, right? Because it made them feel better about themselves. Well, Leo doesn't fuck with that person anymore. So, or Leo, put, put the energy where it goes. It could be you. 
You may not want someone to make up with somebody here. Ooh. Spirit, please clarify the devil in reverse. So there is major toxicity. And that's why I was hearing like something wasn't fair. Someone could have been treated unfairly or I'm hearing dismissed or just treated really shitty because of someone's toxicity. And once that was healed, you wanted to make up or heal something or come to some kind of peaceful resolution with someone and somebody else who was feeding this monster for you to keep acting like this towards someone, they don't like it, but it's their own insecurity. Spirit, please clarify the devil in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with um, an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Doesn't have to be though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Leo, also be aware of people around you that want to want you to stay in some kind of toxic, low vibing energy. Some of you could have made amends with someone who is actually a really nice person. They're high vibing. They could be very spiritual, but this person, they are a light. OK, you could have been hating on this person's spirituality at one point in time. And now you have seen something from a higher perspective here and realize that everybody's allowed to believe whatever they want, as long as it's coming from love. Somebody does not like this, okay? If you have made up with someone who is high vibrational or spiritual in some way or practice some kind of belief system that is really not very bad, okay? Someone doesn't like this. They liked when you were at odds with someone or when you're at fighting and, and when you're in just low vibing energy, someone likes that, right? Some of you, you could have let go of some kind of addictions here. You're focusing more on your spirituality or a belief system that you have that has been really helping you to level up in your life, right? Do better. Like if you started a belief system that has you not drinking anymore, not smoking, not being focused on sex and being outside, somebody else does not like this. It has them feeling very insecure, okay? And all it is, someone feels insecure, Leo, because you are outgrowing them. Spirit, please clarify the magician in reverse. And some of you, you may not even be in the mood to argue with someone about something anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone want, doesn't know how to get you to be a bad person anymore. Someone doesn't know how to get you to drink anymore, to get you to smoke anymore, to get you to be a sex addict anymore. Yeah, they don't like the fact that you have evolved. Okay. And this could be a group of people. This, all this is, Leo, is you are outgrowing people. You are evolving and you are... You're ready for the next stage of your manifestations, and that is at a higher level. So you are getting ready to meet people that are on the same wavelength, have this share the same frequency as you. And you have some people who are upset about this, okay? This is like when you outgrow a relationship or outgrow a group of friends or even family members, right? Someone doesn't know how to get you to be the old Leo, right? And we're all supposed to grow here. They should be happy about this. And they also can't manipulate you anymore to be this way anymore, right? Maybe once upon a time when you were upset and you would go get bottles, you know, you go get a two, four. Now you're like, you know what? I'm just going to go drink some tea, go do some meditation. I'm going to go pray. They don't like that, right? No, I don't feel like partying tonight. I'm going to stay home and Netflix and chill. I want to save my money. They don't like that. It, this is called maturing though. <laughs> this is maturing. Good for you. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify Knight of Cups in reverse. Right. Mm -hmm. I told you, look at this. Your light, your evolution is irritating someone's demons. They do not like this at all. OK, if you are making amends, I'm hearing 12 steps for some. If some of you had done some bad things to people in the past, you could be making amends with these people. There is someone in your energy or some people in your energy that do not like this. OK, they don't want to see you um, mending burned bridges with people. OK, or. Um, coming to peaceful resolutions with people that you were fighting with before. They don't want to see you doing that. Those are the people you should get rid of, Leo. Spirit, please clarify. Ace of coins in reverse. Your light, okay, you coming into your own, you stepping into the essence of who you are, you embodying a higher frequency. Hmm. Some people don't like this. Spirit, please clarify. You're changing. They don't like it. They want you to stay the same. Please clarify. Ace of coins in reverse. Yeah, someone's in their head here. Someone may feel like they're going to miss an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Or you're not going to give to them anymore. Right? Because you've turned a new leaf here. Or you're doing better for yourself. Right? You're working on yourself. You're doing better for yourself. 
Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify. For some of you, this is um, a negative feminine energy around you. This person could, there's something here about sex, right? This person could have used sex to try to draw you in and it's not working anymore and they do not know what to do with themselves, right? They don't like this new Leo. <laughs> they don't like that they can come and entice you to do all type of foolishness because you want to do better for yourself. You want to be a better person, okay? You're striving to be a better version of yourself, right? And they don't like that. Someone wants you to be in, to be in an energy of lacking self-control, lacking discipline, not listening to your intuition, all right? Because they feel like they're going to lose out on something. For some of you, someone is in their head about you not giving to them. And this is financially. Mm -hmm. If you start to wake up and realize that you do not need these types of people or this person around you. Spirit, please clarify the high priestess in reverse. Yeah. Yes. Some of you could be realizing that you need to be focusing on your own bag instead of trying to help other people out because we're all adults here and everybody has to deal with their own shit. Mm -hmm. Someone is afraid that you may not give to them anymore if you're not in this toxic, low vibing energy anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't want you to like um, look into them. Yeah. They don't want you to like step back and use your intuition on if this person is a good influence in your life or not. Yeah. Spirit, please clarify three of coins in reverse. Woo, look at this. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> wow, oh wow. Leo, you, as you evolve and as your frequency starts to raise, you're going to be cutting people off. Your taste may change, okay? you Who you're attracted to is going to change, and that's what is happening. You are going to gravitate towards people who are more loving and supportive, um, even intuitive, right? Uh, people that genuinely care about other people, people that don't encourage you to be at odds with other people and want to be um, up in arms or have animosity. You want to be around people who are, you're going to be attracted to people who are actually very loving and caring and giving and supportive and have carry an energy of unconditional love. Okay. So you are going to, if you had given your cup to someone, so if you were in a relationship with someone, you may find that you're not attracted to them anymore, right? Or you don't want to be with them anymore. Mm -hmm. If you gave an offer to someone, you are going to be taking it off of the table because you are taking your cup back because you're going to realize that your light is starting to irritate someone's demons here. They want you to be in a low vibing energy. Okay. So you're not going to be working with people who you view as they ain't shit, <laughs> right? Yeah, and you're, you're just mind, your mind, your heart, your energy is going to be changing towards people. Now, some of you, you could be with someone or you were with someone who as your vibration rose, remember like attracts like. So you were in the same energy at one point in time with someone and now that you are not, you're seeing them through different eyes, okay? It's like trying to align with energy that doesn't match yours now. All right. The frequency is not a match. So you're looking at this person or these people like you're really not for me. I'm not into you like that. You could be wondering why you were into someone or why you're with them. Right. Because some of you, you're looking at someone like they ain't shit. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to work on anything with them. You don't want to work with them. Because your frequency has risen. Welcome to Ascension, Leo. Welcome to Ascension. Some of you are going to be looking at someone like, honestly, I don't even know why I'm with you. I don't even know why I was attracted to you. You are not my type. So there is a saying, when you heal, <laughs> when you look back at who you were with when you were unhealed, right? Compared to who you're with now that you're healed, you're just going to blow your mind, right? And I feel like this is what's happening with you, Leo. Mm-hmm. You're looking at someone like, I don't even know what I saw in you. Like, you are so not my type. At the time, they were, but not anymore. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Spirit, any more messages for Leo in closing? Any more messages? Can I get some guidance and advice? Ooh, let me pull some 5D cards here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I get some 5D cards? Some 5D messages, Spirit, for Leo in closing? Clear the energies of the previous reading from this deck. Thank you, Spirit. Some of you, you're going to notice this or you're going to you're going to know who the culprit is. If you try to make amends with someone and someone gets upset or you try to resolve something peacefully with someone else and this person gets upset, 
this is the person who your light is irritating their demons and they don't want you to evolve okay they want you to stay where they where you are because they get some kind of benefit from it okay nine months something's going to happen in nine months right you're going to be leaving the past in the past and that's what spirit's saying right whoever you do not resonate with anymore leo leave their ass in the past okay Mm -hmm. some of you you're dealing with a spiritual bully here okay so they try to use their religion or their belief system to keep you stuck keep you in an energy of um it's not really love right it's not because love is is expansive love is inviting so if you are someone has you practicing some kind of belief system or somebody is trying to force their belief system on you like Oh, well, if you believe this, you shouldn't talk to these types of people and duh, whatever, whatnot, right? You're going to be looking at that like, well, you know what? I don't feel like that. You know, I don't care if someone's from the LGBTQ community. I don't care, right? As long as what they're doing is good for them and good for other people, what? why do I care what their sexual preference is? It's really none of my business, right? Mm -hmm. If someone chooses to practice something, as long as it's for their highest good and the highest good of someone else, why, why am I hating on them about it? Yeah. So someone could be trying to use their belief system to get you to not like someone or stay mad at someone or not mend any bridges. Spirit said, or not fix anything that you broke, right? That's how you're going to notice who it is. So if some of you, if you have a child or children with someone, or you used to be friends with someone and you're looking at yourself and looking at the role that you played and why things didn't work out and decide to go mend the bridge. For some of you, this is someone that you're dealing with. Whoever they're around, they don't want them to come and make good with you, okay? But this person is going to be seeing that and being like, why do you want me to hate on Leo? Like, why do you want me to be at odds with them? Why do you want me to fight with them? Like, how does it benefit you? I don't want to fight with them anymore, okay? And for some of you, Leo, this is you. Right, if you are at odds with a friend or uh, an, an ex and you want to make up with them and the person that you're with doesn't like that or the friends that you're around don't like that, you're going to be put turning your back on them, right? Because they're not trying to promote positive vibes. They're not trying to promote good energy. And you are very much evolving. Your uh, frequency is very much raising. Yeah. You have been chosen to break generational trauma and curses in your bloodline, Leo. You have, you're on an assignment here. And this is a part of the assignment. It's not about saving anyone. It's about saving yourself. And how you do this is by striving to be the best version of yourself. So you will realize or recognize this, those that are trying to hold you back or those that they're not supposed to be in this season of your life anymore because they're fighting tooth and nail to keep you in an energy that no longer matches who you are. You are chosen, Leo. Okay. You are chosen to break some kind of generational pattern. It could be a pattern of burning bridges with people and never mending things right how do you expect to get to the side the other side if you burn every bridge right if you're going around making enemies and everybody you, you're not going to get very far in life i know drake said no new friends but that's a lie because drake would not be where he is if he did not make new friends okay so don't get it twisted some of you could be breaking a generational power um pattern of just being in low vibrational energy right or staying in an energy of trauma, trauma bonding with other people. Once you heal this, you're not going to want to be around people who want to, every minute they want to fuss and fight and argue because that's the dynamic of the relationship. You that you don't want to normalize those things. You want peace and harmony and balance. That's why you, you're you going to be attracted to people who are like, they like peaceful things. They're calm. They're supportive. They're loving. They're caring. They're nurturing. You're going to be attracted to those types of people. You're not into the fussing and fighting and, and we're cussing each other every day. And no, you don't want to hear all of that. You don't want to be in, in that involved in that kind of dynamic. And you're breaking these generational patterns in your bloodline, right? Good for you, Leo. Good for you. I like that. All right? Mm, you've got the butterfly effect tarot. Um, <laughs> the butterfly effect tarot. The butterfly effect Slow and steady transformation for the better. You are not the same person you used to be. I can't make this up, Leo. You are not the same person you used to be, right? This came in reverse though. So there is someone or some ones around you who do not want you to change. But this change that's happening within you, Leo, it is inevitable. You have some people around you that are afraid of being left in the past. But spirit is saying that's where they belong because you are no longer who you used to be. So you have no business with these energies. 
And I'm going to leave that there. Leo, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. Someone in this collective, you have people around you that act like you're, they're your friend, but they talk about you a lot. And you know this, right? Some of you, because of some kind of insecurity, you would just keep them around. It could have been history or whatever, whatnot. But you are going to be cutting these people off and cutting them out and making room for higher vibrational people who don't talk shit about you behind your back, okay? That's what Spirit wants you to do. You deserve to have real friends in your life, okay? Or be, with some, be in a relationship with someone who actually cares about you and is not benefiting from you being toxic or low vibing. Okay, Leo? I'll see you again. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, all night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.